So my wife Julie and I decided to take a winter drive to Sparta, Michigan, a town where she lived as a young girl. While driving, we would pensively look out the window at open fields, barns, silos, and old farmhouses. When we arrived, Julie pointed to some of her favorite landmarks, the old house she used to live in, her favorite restaurant, and the town's famous barbershop where she got a haircut with her dad. While there, it gave me an idea. There's a song here. I flashed back to my own small town roots when I was growing up. I decided to merge the two towns, Julie from Sparta and yours truly from Wayland. We got our coffee and were ready to head back home. I asked Julie, would you drive while I write? She said, no problem. Digging furiously for a piece of paper, I grabbed something from the glove box. I started to write. My mind was racing as I searched for the next word. Then Julie started coming up with some good ideas. We were rolling and a song was born. Thinking about that day walking down the streets of yesteryear, we couldn't help but think about how things have changed. The old high school is now an elementary school, while another school is a vacant lot that looks forgotten. The libraries are still there and it looks like the Preservation Society decided to preserve and not demolish. I like that. The 5 and 10 is now a flea market. The old clothing store now sells antiques. The bank is now offices for City Hall. And the shoe repair? It's still there. There were churches we once knew. Places we called home. These are shadows now. And while it's fun to reminisce, and it's important to remember the good things God has done, we can't get stuck in the past. The shadows remain, but so do we. Let's get going. We have a life to live. Driving through my town of yesterday Population 2058 Gonna